fellow Southern Cameroonians, our dear young compatriots, the 11th of February 2017 is here. This year, it is a Saturday, just like it was the case in 1961. This is very symbolic. It is symbolic because this date should have marked our independence and freedom. Unfortunately, it has come to represent our entry into oppression, marginalization, slavery and servitude, torture, rape, and all forms of imaginable brutality. It is for these reasons we should find no pleasure in celebrating this date, mischievously named the Youth Day. Those who chose this day of servitude for our youths did not have your interest at heart. Their intention was simply to distort and erase our history alongside all that we hold dear, our enviable educational and legal systems. On behalf of the leadership of our struggle, I therefore call on you all to rise up like one man and tell Yawundi and the rest of the world that you want freedom. This message can only be put across through a 100% boycott of the 2017 Youth Day festivities all over Southern Cameroons. Yaoundé has declared war on our people and we must let this government know that no authority has ever won a war against its own people in history. Call your friends, text your brothers and sisters and tell them that, is, that this is the time to take your destiny in your own hands. We hereby express sincere thanks to our compatriots in the diaspora for the protest marches organized in all the major cities of the world this Friday. Their contribution is invaluable and history is taking note. We also extend a word of encouragement to our leaders and all others abducted and illegally jailed in the course of this struggle. By this resounding boycott, you will also be telling your leaders and all those who are locked up that we will not let them down. We condemn with our last energy the ongoing violence and killings in DOP perpetrated by government forces whose duty should rather be to protect the people. The arrest of the priest and parish chairman in church in Jakiri early today has greatly shocked us. This means even the house of our God has been desecrated. The indifference exhibited by Yaoundé to the grievances expressed by the lawyers and teachers, unions and associations since October 2016. Brutality, the killings, the rapes and intimidations have caused the consortium to shift from its consideration of federalism as an option. It is now abundantly clear to us that Anglophones and Francophones can no longer cohabit in peace and harmony. By no force of ours, but by the deliberate and wicked machinations of the government. Therefore, the resolute march for the total restoration of Southern Cameroons is hereby declared. Dear people, dear youths, as true as God is on the throne, it will not take long and we shall be home. God is with us.